Okay, and then in, in the industry, um, obviously builders have to follow the building code when building a property, right? So, right. Uh, like, are there, are, there, um, are there builders who go above and beyond and, and really does it make a difference or can you elaborate on that? Yeah, exactly. There's a, <laughs> um, there is a wide range and people think that all builders are created equal, which is not, uh, you know, which is not true. Mm -hmm. um, there's the there's the ones that uh, try to get by just on the building code, um, and even at that, uh, you know, it, building inspectors are they, you know they only can inspect what the code calls for. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of things that they can't see, such uh, as well. Let's let's uh, just take you. You're framing a wall up, um, and and um, a lot of a lot of I've seen this before because I know guys do it. Uh, say when you're when you're when you're nailing studs to a top plate or a bottom plate, they'll put they'll put the two nails if they're doing a two by four wall, three nails of a two by six wall. But they'll put the nails so close together that the uh, you know when the, when it's nailed together on the on the uh, plate to the stud is they'll twist quite easily because they put the two nails so close together they don't space the nails farther apart. They're just hitting the nail guns and just bang bang. The inspector can't see that, oh. you know. So you get a lot of twisting and buckling in that in that uh, in that two by material that you're putting on there. Um, sheathing sometimes on the outside, the inspector doesn't you know necessarily look at the sheathing, especially on the second floors and stuff. They well, can't what see. What is what is sheathing? Um, you know, so it, sheathing is not is basically your um, a structural component of a wall. Mm -hmm. It's on the outside of the outboard part of that wall. Okay. Um, you know, it could be half inch plywood. It could be seven sixteenths OSB, which is oriented strand board mm -hmm. uh, on that. And you know, nailing patterns. Sometimes they can't see up there, so the guys only put a couple nails in that sheet. They don't see it. You know. And how does that affect the end user? Um, well, everything starts to come apart. Oh. You know, you'll see. You know, later on down the road, as things start to dry out in the home, you know, you can see your walls kind of getting wavy and buckling a bit like that because all the lumber starting to turn and twist. Um, you know, you, you, your outside. You know, depending on your cladding on the outside, it might start to buckle a oh. bit more because it's not nailed properly. Uh, you know, and you usually don't see those for years down the road, right? And how would how how do um, customers pre like prevent? How do how do they watch out for that? Those kind of uh, well, they don't. They don't. They don't know. Oh. Customers don't know that. Those, okay. you know, those are some of the finer details um, that you do. I guess you just have to trust your builder that um, you know they're hiring the right guys, you know, to do the job. Thanks, guys, for watching my video. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Email me if you have any more questions. Thank you.